Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I'm reviewing the Shadow X by Alpha Bags. Let's go and dive in, break these bags down. We'll start with this little side. Shadow X is a carpet bag. It has that herringbone carpet. It's the more popular of the herringbone carpets out there. Same slow side you find on the BG Wizard, the Buffalo Fallout X and Fury, the B3 Fatal, Cornhole Coastal Creature, Siva Matrix, the X-Level Counterpunch, Southwest Capo, Ninja Street. I could, I could go on and on. There's a whole long list of bags that use this herringbone material. And for good reason, it's a wonderful material. It's one of my favorite materials to throw. It's a very versatile material. You can do a lot with it. Speeds, I call it a five speed. Every time I review this material, I, I, I talk about how you can manipulate the speeds of this bag. If you like it to play a little faster, keep it clean, buy a fabric shaver, shave this these fuzzies off of it. It'll play more than five and a half to six speed range if you like it to play slower get it dirty throw outdoors on concrete asphalt rough surfaces really rough this material but it'll play down like a four speed so anywhere from a four to six is where it's going to play in normal conditions normal people the bags typically if you kind of just play in normal situations it'll play about a five speed kind of a slower five so that's why i call it a five speed Five on the slow side, fast side, this is a Pro Sniper, Viper, Deadhead, fast side material, nine speed, it's fast, it's great for pushing, collecting, cleaning up messes, so we're looking at about a five, a nine speed on these Shadow X bags. Template wise, this is a medium template bag, it is on the fuller side, so you have some flop, it is not overly floppy at all, it's really a, what, I would, what I would classify as a full bag. In fact, this bag reminds me in the hand feel, a ton of the BG Wizard, so if you like that fullness of the Wizard, then you'll, you'll probably like the Shadow X. And for those who don't like the bead fill, the fill in the Shadow X is mostly, it's a mixed fill, but it's mostly a flat fill. It's got some flat discs in here. It's got some a thicker flat fill. It may have some, every now and then I think I feel something might be a bead or something mixed in there. It's not a lot of beads whatsoever. It's mostly flat fill in here. So if you like the hand fill of that wizard, but you don't like the bounciness of that bead fill, this Shadow X is probably what you're looking for. Because with this fill, you get a lot more forgiveness on the landing. One of the knocks of this herringbone material is that it has a tendency to want to kick on you. So if you don't throw a flat bag, it's going to kick. And if you put a bead fill in here, you get that bouncy fill with this material and you get a really harsh punishing kick. By adding this mostly flat fill in here, you take away a lot of that harsh kick. So the bag's still going to kick on you. If you don't throw a flat bag, it's still going to kick. However, it's a controllable kick and you can adjust. If you throw consistently the same tilt, you can adjust your landing spot and play that. And, and, and because of the kick, it gives you the ability, right? The kick is a cut. I tell us all the time. If a bag doesn't kick, it's not going to cut. So a bag like this, you you want the ability to cut roll flop and so you're gonna have to deal with that kick but if you throw a flat a semi-flat bag with enough rotation you can get away with it because it's not as punishing as a bead fill bouncy fill bag would would have to it as far as the the kick on it so something to keep in mind like i said if, if you love if you love that feel and the playability of the wizard but you don't like the punishing kick on the shadow x maybe what you're looking for i hope i clarified that up for you uh one other thing else i'll mention is the is around the hole like a fuller bag tends to be less forgiving around the hole so just keep that in mind that if you can get this corner to grab the hole it's going to grab and spin around and pull the bag back in i did find that if i was that i had to be a little more precise with my landing zone because if i was getting off because of the fullness it wanted to kind of skip past the hole however on the other side is a fuller bag you have more control on more control of a fuller bag you do a loose floppier bag so you can get more precise more accurate with your landing than you would with that floppier bag so that's the trade-off right you've got way more control with this bag in your hand maybe not as forgiving around the hole but sometimes you don't need that forgiveness when you're more accurate with your landing these bags are acl pro stand for 2024 so you play an acl events you can throw the shadow x let's go ahead and jump in and talk about playability on these bags and and this hearing moment material is a very versatile material so if you like to get up there and just run bags hole for hole you can do that with this material maybe not the best bag for that but but you can do that right if you're looking for a bag that you can run hole for hole but still has the ability to cut roll and flop and give you those shot shaping options that's where i think this shadow x steps in for that style of gameplay it's also a great bag if you want to play a dirty style game you have a ton of control with this herringbone carpet it, put blockers where you want, you know, level one, level two, level three blocker. I, I, I don't think you ever want to intentionally put a level four, which you wanted to, you probably could with this bag, but you can put those blockers. You have that control. You can put these bags where you want. They make a great blocker. It's full enough. It's going to cause bags. If your opponent's not used to pushing through, it will cause bags to kick off left or right. So it can really be a great blocker it, it, for your opponent. It's also an easy bag for you to collect if you're coming down because the bags aren't floppy. The corners don't accordion up like those floppy bags do. So if you come down, you're just clipping a corner and take it in, which means you can get more aggressive, putting that blocker more on your opponent's side, knowing with your last bag, come down fast side, just come right in the middle, clip the corner, and you'll take your bags in. Uh, one thing I'll mention about collecting bags is because this this fast side is also plenty fast for pushing through multiple bags. I will give you a word of caution with that. Anytime you have a fuller bag, you're trying to collect multiple bags, try to make sure you're pushing in one and then the other. If you try to take 
all three bags at the same time, you're probably going to get a clog. So if you got bags and them side by side and you're trying to throw one down the middle to take all three of them, you got to be really careful of that because, because the full bags, three full bags just don't drip in the hole. Like floppy bags will fold up and melt in. The full ones don't. Now you can use that clog to your advantage. So if you're ahead in the round, like for example, if I've got one bag in the hole, I've got two up there side by side. My opponent's maybe got three bags out and I'm throwing my last bag, I want to push up and clog that hole and prevent my opponent from getting their last bag in and guarantee myself points. So you can definitely use that to your advantage. It's not something that I really had a big issue. It's just something to mention when, you, when you're trying to collect bags they fall on the fuller side. You probably want to take your third bag, collect one, fourth bag, collect the other, or get bags a little more staggered so you can come down and push them, push them all in one at a time and you'll have no problem that way. But uh, the other thing on these bags is shot shaping. The, these Shadow X's are great for cuts, rolls, flops. Even though they don't have that bouncy fill, they have a more forgiving fill, I was able to throw really, really aggressive cuts with this bag like I would with more of a stickier carpet bag or a bouncier fill. I was really to make aggressive cuts, uh, which means if you're playing against an opponent who throws blockers, plays a dirty style game, you've got the option to get around their bags, leave their bag there, make them collect their bag. And, and, and if you do that enough, eventually they're going to miss a collect or leave a bag there and you're going to get points that way. So if you like throwing cuts, rolls, flops, playing that shot shaping style game, you're going to love love the way the Shadow X plays and the ability and, and the way that you have to shape shots, the options that it gives you. It also really shines kind of in the way I like to play these style bags is that hybrid style where I'm running bags in the hole this round. Maybe I'm putting two bags in with a third bag blocker. I'm putting the occasional blocker. I'm not really going all dirty. I'm not going all clean i kind of mix it up and that's where i think this bag really stands out is the versatility of what you can do with it as far as the, all the different options that it gives you and it, it really never leaves you in a situation where whatever your opponent does you always have multiple options of getting it around going over the bags even go you know fast enough flip it over going through their blockers if you have to so it gives you plenty of options and, and i love a bag i love when a bag gives me options right i i hate getting in a position where i only have one shot to take and my opponent knows that and they could put me in a, in, in a box and force me to to shoot an air mail or to push through or whatever i don't like that a bag like the shadow x gives you gives you options all the time so you have different ways of getting your bags in the hole and leaving your opponents out or different ways to score points and really kind of beat your opponent in that round so love that about the shadow x uh, it, it's a bag that i i had a lot of fun throwing definitely a bag i would recommend if you've watched my review of the wizard i love the wizard it was, it was one of my favorite bags i really love the way that bag plays I love the fact that I can play that style of game, but I don't have the bounce. Because sometimes that wizard can punish you, right? That's why that's why a lot of people have gone away from the wizard into that wizard L, because the wizard L, a little more forgiving. Now you've still got the fullness and the shot shape capabilities of that bag, but on the more forgiving side. So definitely something you want to, if that's something you've been looking for, definitely check out the Shadow X and give them a run. Leads me into availability. Alpha Bags has a website, alphabagscornhole.com. As always, link down in the description for you guys. The bags were $74.99, $75 for these bags, $10 shipping $85 shipped to you phenomenal price for an ACL pro stamp bag so if you've been looking at trying maybe maybe you're trying you're, you're been thinking about trying out a herringbone style bag maybe you're a herringbone lover like I am and you want a bag that's a little different a little unique than some of the other bags you have out there definitely give the Shadow X a run if you've thrown them Drop a comment down below. Love to hear your feedback, what you like, what you don't like. I always love hearing your guys' opinions on these bags. Even if they don't agree with mine, I love hearing your guys' opinions. I thank you so much for your support, and I thank you for watching.